With the new audio updates and production truck, you'll first notice that we have a new button down by the mute button. Down here we now have an audio preview option so you can monitor your audio that you're sending out through your broadcast, through your computer speakers, or through your headphones that are connected to your computer by just clicking this button. Previously this feature lived in the AV settings under the preference window. By going to audio here we have our audio preview button which used to be monitor audio. So you can still turn it on here but you also have an easy button that you can toggle on and off right here in your main interface. We've also now included a audio mixer in production truck. You need to enable that first by going to preferences, advanced, and then check the enable advanced audio mixer checkbox here. When you do that, you'll now get a little button next to your audio meter. When you click on that, it pops out that new audio mixer. So we now have the ability to bring in four audio sources instead of just one. So we'll first go to audio one by clicking on it, going to the values here, and we're gonna go ahead and choose my microphone that I'm using right now. Next, we'll go to audio two, and we will choose my mini recorder. And then we can keep on going down. Audio three, we'll set that to the built-in microphone. So now we can choose, like I said, up to four audio inputs, including audio from each of your cameras, depending on how many you have. And now we can mix these audio inputs exactly how we would like them. And then all of that is pushed into our main audio output. You also notice that we still have our left and right stereo options over on the, over on the left side here. And we also have some new buttons down below. We of course have a mute button for each one and we have an audio preview button for each one that works just like the main audio output audio preview. So by clicking on one of these, we can preview just that single audio source. We also have a solo and AFV, which stands for audio follow video button. With the solo button, you're able to just play that single audio source or any source that has the solo button selected and send that to your main audio. So by clicking on solo on audio one, we are now only sending audio one over to our main audio. The rest are therefore muted. By going to audio two, we can turn solo on, on on audio two and now only audio one and audio two are being sent. And so we can do this all the way down and now all three of them are being sent. But this is just a quick way to choose which ones we want to be sent without having to go through and mute every one that we don't want to be included. With the audio follow video option, this ties that audio source to the camera that it corresponds with. So by using audio two, we turn on AFV. This audio two is tied to camera input two, which would be our camera B. So by, when I have AFV selected on audio two, when we cut to camera two, that audio source now becomes the only live audio source. This works great for if you have a, if you're doing an interview down on the court or down on the field and you have a mic tied to that camera source, you can make sure that that audio source is live when you cut down to that camera. You just have to always remember that the audio sources here or the audio inputs down here correspond to that specific camera source. So audio two is for camera B, audio three is for camera three, and audio four is for camera four. We can go ahead and hide the audio mixer again by clicking on the original arrow button that we clicked on to show it. And you also see over in the video clips window, we have some of those same buttons with solo and the audio preview buttons are now available there as well. I'll also mention that if you don't like to use this little pop out option here, we do have the ability to go to tools, audio mixer, and now we have it in a separate window. So if, if you have a larger monitor, you can always have this open. Otherwise you can click off of it and always bring it back to the front by clicking on audio mixer again. And of course, if you ever need to make quick changes, easily pop out the mixer from the main button there as well.